And how different, how did the trip contribute to your understanding of Islam and Muslim people? Um, I, I think it uh, reinforced for me that um, uh, most, most Muslims are not terribly different than most Christians or most Jews or most Buddhists. Um, and it was um, one of the things that I think for me helped very much with that, a very emotional moment at the Blue Mosque, but it was uh, we were in so many mosques and, and we were there at, at prayer time. And, um, that just getting to see it firsthand and and you know, touch it and feel it and smell it, that it, it made it more uh, real, I guess, mm. rather than you study. I see. And how would you feel about the mosques? I mean, if you want to come to synagogues and all your experience, what do you feel about them? And what's your experience with them? Um, I, I guess uh, I haven't thought about that, okay. but the, it, the, many of the mosques we were in were were very large and uh, old and ornate and and it was wonderful architecture, much like um, some of the Christian cathedrals or um, some of the very large Jewish temples mm -hmm. that I've seen, and um, it, it, I kind of got the same feeling that um, for me personally, I'd rather go to a small, more intimate uh, place of worship. And um, uh, it, but certainly like walking into each other, I mean, they were welcoming, peaceful, emotional places. So um, it, if, if I were Muslim, I would just look for a smaller one. <laughs> Unfortunately, days ago, a French uh, newspaper, France, published a caricature about Prophet Muhammad depicting him in a uh, horrible way. What's your uh, thoughts about like this in terms of freedom of speech versus the responsible journalism? Well, um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm a newspaper editor, so um, I, I feel obligated to defend the editor's decision to publish it. Um, but um, it, just as I would in the United States, uh, newspapers publish editorial cartoons every day, some of which are uh, certainly going to offend some groups and some people. And um, I think an editor's responsibility is to recognize when uh, an, an opinion piece, which it is, is the cartoonist's opinion, um, when you're going to publish someone's opinion, um, that it may have some repercussions. and. Um, you make a decision if you want to want to go ahead with it or not. And in this case, the editor decided to go ahead with it. Um, there were some pretty negative repercussions, uh, and the edit editor was uh, subsequently fired. So um, that's the risk. But um, it, I, I have to say something supportive of freedom of the press. <laughs> I read the news that for, for the uh, French one that in, for the Danish newspaper the editor or the manager of the newspaper actually uh, wanted caricaturist to portray that image. So, so it's asked like, him directed the cartoonist to do that one. So, what do you? I mean, how do you? Uh, uh, what's your reaction or what's your understanding between the? Okay, ethics and cards and, and, and this type of like, hookup. Um, um, I'm I'm not sure if in my mind there's an ethics question. Okay. A a 
um, an editorial cartoon is presented as an opinion. And, um, and it's meant to um, stir up emotions. Uh, and it's meant to get people talking and arguing and, and instigate a dialogue. Um, that's part of its purpose. Um, that this may be a case where uh, the, the consequences were greater than anticipated, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, give a message to the sponsors, what would you like to say? To uh, well, I'd certainly like to thank them. Um, and, and I'd like to uh, encourage them to continue doing this. Um, we certainly, uh, probably in our lifetime, never would have gone to Turkey uh, without this opportunity. Um, it just wouldn't have occurred to us. Um, and the, this situation and this opportunity to go um, is what got us there. And certainly since we've been back, um, We've talked to so many people um, who, like us, knew very little about Turkey, um, had, had never traveled to Turkey or had never planned to travel to Turkey. And um, I think after our experience, certainly everybody we talked to, we were maybe at least just a little bit um, able to um, increase their awareness uh, of the country and um, I think anyone we've spoken with probably has a more uh, positive view of the country than they did before we talked to them. Um, and those sponsors made that possible, so I think that helps spread. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to share with us beyond these questions? Um, I want to tell a little story. <laughs> the, <coughs> excuse me, uh, while we were there, I had the opportunity um, uh, at one dinner to meet with some Turkish uh, journalists uh, in Istanbul, um, including uh, two editors from Saman, is that the paper? Um, and just like in the United States, the newspaper people recognized each other right away and started talking and talking about newspapers and how we do things differently. And in uh, about uh, about three months or so after three or four months after we came back from Turkey, um, I was at the office and. Uh, the receptionist uh, called me and said there was someone here to see me, and it was um, one of the editors from Zaman that I met in Istanbul who was here with a group, and uh, he was part of the group that got sent to Oklahoma City. So um, we, uh, he got to see my newspaper office, and, and we got to visit, but um, it, it was interesting to me there was a, a connection there. It was certainly a surprise to see him here, um, but I was so glad to see him. And um, I think in a small way, those are exactly the kind of relationships that um, uh, this organization is fostering, which ultimately, um, hopefully, accomplishes what it's meant to. I, I have newspaper friends in Turkey now. Thank you very much. Sure.